Hello there, I'm Obed Bab. Welcome to another episode of The Munches, munching on God's Word. We talked about faith throughout this third season of The Munches, masticating on life nuggets from the lives of those who lived by faith. This episode is geared to help you strengthen your faith so that when your life is reviewed, a similar statement can be made about you. In the Bible, we find two categories of faith mentioned. First, there is great faith, demonstrated by the centurion who encountered Jesus in Capernaum and the Syrophoenician woman, as recorded in Matthew 8, 10, and again in Matthew 15, 28, respectively. Secondly, there is little faith, as manifested by the disciples when they faced a great storm, as narrated in Matthew 8, 26. Whichever of the two categories you're in, you can obtain, maintain, and strengthen your faith. Here's how to do it mathematically, according to 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 to 7. He says, And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. Virtue is moral excellence. Someone said that in legality, there is technicality, but in morality, it's integrity, it's excellence in matters of integrity that must be added diligently to faith. And to virtue, he says, add knowledge. There are two Greek words that are translated knowledge. The first is, is oida, and oida speaks to information, whereas ginosko, the other word, speaks to experience. He says, hey, to virtue, add an experience with God. And to knowledge, add temperance. Self-control often comes with this definition of total abstinence from that which is harmful and moderate use of that which is good. Control of one's self. And to temperance, add patience, which is endurance in situations. It is often used synonymously with long-suffering. However, for specificity, long-suffering is toward an individual or individual. So I can be long-suffering with my friend, but I need to be patient in suffering. For instance, if I'm facing a debilitating disease, it's endurance in situations. And then he says to patience, godliness, that's true piety towards God. And to godliness, add brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, love. These characteristics, when added to faith, makes a Christian mature and well-equipped to bear difficulty with dignity. Pray with me. Father, help us to add to our faith these characteristics so that we'll be more like you. We ask this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. If this devotional was encouraging, give it a thumbs up and let us know. And feel free to share this video with someone else so they can also be encouraged. God bless you.